Welcome back and pack your bags. Direct flights to the Caribbean are here. Today, Frontier Airlines starts nonstop service between Norfolk and San Juan, Puerto Rico. New routes, though, mean fewer spaces at Norfolk International Airport's parking facilities. I looked into the options for people planning to fly out this summer. More planes coming in to land and more feet coming through the doors. In terms of passengers, Norfolk International Airport is busier than ever. Right now we're on track for 10 to 12 percent higher than last year, which was a record year. And Executive Director Mark Perryman says there aren't any signs of a slowdown, with new routes and bigger airplanes serving them. Breeze is bringing four times a week to San Diego. Those flights are doing phenomenally well. First week of June, June 2nd, we're launching San, San Juan, Puerto Rico. We've never had a Caribbean destination out of here. Our summer seat count, which is what we kind of look to forecast what our activity is looking like, is up month over month over month, anywhere from 20 to 25 percent over last year's seat count. A lot more seats to be filled at ORF during the busiest time of year. Perryman says it's exciting to see so many people coming through, but there are impacts here putting pressure on the airport's parking lots and four parking decks. His team has already seen it during spring break. Less than 10% of our parking was available during that period of time. Traveler John Espinosa tells me he and his wife heard about that tight parking issue, and so they made it part of their prep ahead of their big trip to Europe. Parking here is very hectic, so what I did, I, I went online and uh, made a reservation and it was very quick. So we're encouraging our traveling public, those who live here, to use our Parking Perks program. I'm told it comes with savings, free cancellations, and most importantly, you get to reserve your spot ahead of time. So you just go to the airport's website, create a free account, and pick your dates to reserve. I did it for next weekend, and it tells you a few things. How much money you're saving by reserving early, but also how many spots are left. Book and get that peace of mind. And there will be a spot available for you. As for those who drive up, if the lots are all full, Perryman tells me, theoretically, they could be turned away. But he also doesn't believe the airport is quite there yet. I don't anticipate that we're going to be in that position to turn people away, but it is always a potential. More so with future projections. Perryman says additional flights come from airlines responding to growing demand. We're showing that we could be 2,000 spaces short of our future demand. Not today, but of our future demand. And so we need to act now. So we're planning to build additional parking facilities, whether ground lots, which are easy. Garage D was built in a way that it could be expanded by Bay. Then there's the near billion dollar airport expansion project that's about to start. Right now it includes a rental car facility that would see rental companies get their own deck. That will free up several hundred spaces. But these changes are all several years down the road at this point. So in the meantime, the airport says people traveling during this busy time of year, they need to prepare. We have plenty of capacity, we just need to manage it. You're planning your rental car, and you're planning where you're gonna eat. You need to plan where you're gonna park. At Norfolk International Airport, Anthony Sabella, News 3.